hello guys welcome back to piping engineers in today's video we will learn about gate walls and glow walls we will see what are the differences between gate walls and glow walls what are their uses in industries and how these walls are different from each other so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so let's begin our today's video and start learning about these two walls so guys first question what is a gate wall gate wall is the most basic wall that we all have seen in our day to day lives gate walls are primarily known as on off walls because they basically used to either on a service or either off a service so you can see in gate wall it is the most basic wall that is used in industry and used in every system that we see in day to our day to day life so gate wall basically they have this hand wheel and this hand wheel is indeed attached with this stem so when this hand wheel is rotated this stem does a linear motion or upward downward motion so when the stem when the stem or this wedge is on the downward downward position or at the base position your gate wall is closed while when the stem or this wedge is on upward upward side this your wall is in open situation so this is the basic principle of gate wall for more detail we have a video on gate wall that you can see here on i button basically you can see in your gate wall there is a minimal pressure loss why because there is no obstruction but in between the gate walls inside so when the pipe is connected here there is no frictional losses and no pressure losses because there is no obstruction and your and your flow gets a full bore passage so your full bore passage of fluid is there in the system hence the there is less pressure loss and the system works very smoothly next what is the glow wall glow walls are basically you can say an advanced version of gate wall where we can take dual services so what do you mean by dual services so glow wall can be used as on off walls also but in addition to that the main purpose for which gate glow walls are used is the throttling one so if you want to throttle a system or if you want to control the flow we go for glow walls glow walls because of their in indistinct indistinct construction they are used for the uh, throttling purpose or you can say pressure regulating purpose of the flow so in glow wall you can see there is this uh, plug which sits on which sits inside this uh, uh, cavity and when this plug is on the downward situation or in the or on the downward uh, direction the flow gets restricted but when this when this plug uh, gets on upward direction the wall gets open and you, your flow starts getting the flow so in between also we can stop this plug and then when it is it will be in between you the wall will be used for the throttling purpose but you can see guys in this glow walls the flow is changing its direction once it is going this way afterwards it has to change the direction and it is go upward and then again it has to go in horizontal direction so because of this uh, directional change of flow there is a slightly higher pressure drops in this type of walls as compared to your gate walls so while selecting a glow wall we generally take the consideration that there should be minimal uh, pressure in our system because there will be some uh, pressure losses in uh, across these glow walls so where we don't have any problem with the pressure losses we go for your glow walls so this were the main definitions of these two walls so moving on to the next slide uh, here guys we will discuss about the basic differences or you can say the basic comparison between these two walls so as uh, told in previous slide also so gate walls they are on off walls so whenever we whenever we say which is the best wall used in uh, for on off wall uh, is your gate wall or your the primary wall which we use for on off is your gate wall while glow walls in addition to on off the they are used for regulation of like throttling of the fluid so i have told you how we can use them for regulation or throttling uh, next is in in gate wall there is a wedge shaped gate so in in this gate wall you can see this hand wheel is connected with a wedge shaped gate and this wedge shaped gate either it moves upward or it moves downward while in this glow wall the glow wall uses a disc core plug which i shown in, in the earlier slide so that disc core plug sits on the cavity inside the wall and that is used for either on off or for the throttling of the fluid gate walls are because of their design i have very little fluid trapping inside the bore and hence there is very little pressure drop i told you there is nothing inside the gate wall 
when the wedge is on when the wedge is opened or the uh, upward position or the gate valve is in uh, your open situation the gate wall has a clear passage of fluid and it, it is the diameter of the wall inside is similar to the diameter of the pipe through which it is attached hence there is very negligent pressure drop across the gate wall while in glow walls uh, there is a change in direction of the fluid so because of that change in direction of the fluid the pressure drop as compared to gate wall is on the larger side gate walls again they are unidirectional you can you can use gate walls in any direction uh, you can you, we don't have any specific direction uh, to fit the gate valve in the piping system but glow walls they have a direction uh, they are they are not unidirectional they have to be put across in the direction or through on uh, in the system on which for which they are manufactured so in glow walls we generally have an arrow on the body of the glow wall and based on that arrow uh, inward or outward or upstream or downstream we place the glow wall inside the system so this is one of the basic dif uh, basic differences between these two walls now uh, gate walls as i told you they are best suited for on off a throttling attempt through gate wall leads to excessive vibration wall seat damage of the wall so it's not the case that operators don't go for uh, don't don't try to use gate wall as a uh, as a throttling device but indeed your wall gets damaged your seat seat gets damaged and the gate wall because of the vibration purposes your wall uh, is not intended to to provide the services for which it has been designed so hence it cannot be used or it should not be used for your uh, throttling purpose while glow wall has a very good throttling ability while gate wall is not used for throttling again the basic differences lies one is for on off another is for on off but not using it for on off because of the cost cost part if we if we between the both two walls glow wall is on costlier side so wherever we require throttling as the basic service we go for uh, glow walls while if if the our primary line primary need is for on off we, you, we will be selecting your gate walls moving on to the next slide so in this slides guides ha i have just jotted down what are the basic parts of the both the walls and uh, where, how the cross section of these walls looks like so in gate wall as i told you there is a hand wheel this hand wheel is indeed connected with this stem and this stem is connected with this solid wedge so basically when we rotate this hand wheel in 360 degree this this wedge uh, does upward or downward motion so when it goes up when it goes up the fluid starts flowing and the valve is in on 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 condition while when it goes down you can see there is a locking in the wall and fluid stops flowing so this is the basic thing uh, that that how a gate valve works again there is a hand wheel there is this stem and this is the main wedge and this is the body of the gate wall uh, there are some back seats and this is the bonnet this is the bonnet there are two parts that are casted together and again uh, with the help of bolts uh, they are fixed and these are glands so that there is no leakage inside the walls and this is gland packing so these are basic components of the wall uh, if compared with glow wall glow wall you can see uh, again there is this there is this disc which we have seen this disc again uh, it is connected with the hand wheel as the wedge is connected with uh, hand wheel of a gate wall this is the stem so these are the basic similar parts uh, instead of wedge shaped uh, wedge shaped solid shaped wedge uh, there you are we are having this disc which will be placed on the cavity and in between those so that there is no leakage we provide this seats again this is the bonnet as similar as we have for gate walls these are packing so that there is no a leakage this is a gland flange again to connect the bonnet this is gland eye bolt so these are basic parts of the uh, global glow wall so the fluid direction you can see this is inlet and this is outlet so this gate this glow wall uh, has to be fixed in the same direction for which the arrow has been given i told you in earlier slide also but but glow walls uh, there is no limitations of the direction so you can you can place it in either direction uh, this is because the glow walls have the geometry because you can see if we if we change the direction the change of fluid will be uh, fl the direction of the fluid or direction will be changed and the wall will not be able to throttle and this seat will get damaged so that that's why uh, this is very important to uh, put the glow wall in the system for which uh, it has been designed so guys uh, i hope you would have liked today's video for more videos and updates guys uh, for please like follow and subscribe to our channel and if you want to have a detailed knowledge on walls please uh, see our wall playlist thank you for watching today's video